four steps that I'm going to help you with today to be able to help get more consistency and predictability in your business sales. So I'm really excited to be sharing this topic with you because when you have this feeling of you don't know where your next customer is going to come from, where is your next sale come from, it can cause a bit of that sort of sink or swim feeling, a feeling that can sometimes come across as desperation and it just causes a lot more stress, okay? So what I want to share with you in today's Brilliantly New Business Show is my four-step process that I go through and that I have learned over the last few years and I'm currently in the middle phase of this process myself right now and I'm going to share that four-step process with you today so that you can be able to get more consistent sales in your business and the even more cool piece is that you can actually then predict what sales can look like if you're looking to take your business to double your revenue, triple your revenue and beyond. You're going to actually be able to predict that um, as well, which I'm going to share with you later. So it's really, really exciting. That's what we're talking about today on my weekly show, The Brilliantly You Business Show. Happy to have you here with me. And like I say, if we are meeting for the first time, and thanks so much for spending some time with me. I hope you find this video really, really useful. And in case we're meeting for the first time, like I say, my name is Jenny Stevens. I live here in the southwest of the UK. And I help other home business entrepreneurs help them to build their business online using online marketing strategies and also helping you to be able to make more sales and impact without the self-doubt. So I mix together my experience with marketing and mindset to help you find the root cause of the doubt devil that can show up and help you eradicate that so that you can build your business confidently and take it to wherever you want to go. So, that's so let's dive into today's topic. So like I say, this is all about consistency and how do you create more consistent sales in your business so that you can actually go through, you know, month to month feeling more confident that you know where your customers are coming from. You know that you're going to have new customers and clients coming into your business on a more consistent basis. So you're not stressing about, oh my God, where, where's the money coming from? How am I going to pay my bills? Um, you know, then if you're wanting to take your business to the next level, if you're kind of, if you've got a bit of a target for you, knowing how to get there and what it's actually going to take in terms of talking about some of the numbers. And so I'm going to help you today by sharing my four step process. Like I mentioned, it's a four step process that I go through um, to really help me to create my own consistent income. So I've, you know, I've had multiple streams of income over the last six years and I'm currently going through, I'm sort of in the, um, probably step two, between two and three of my four step process right now with a brand new uh, kind of stream. So I wanted to share that with you and help you so that so you can create more consistency in your own business and just have more confidence and ease rather than stressing and worrying, especially right now. There's been so much stuff has been kind of thrown up in the air. Um, there's a lot of unknowns. The last thing you want to be worrying about is, oh my God, you know, if sales are drying up or if you're worried about are people spending money right now, which I talked about a couple of weeks ago, um, then this will hopefully help you out, okay? So like I say, I think the first thing to ask yourself is, like I, like I asked just now, are your, are your sales that come into your business, whether you sell products, like physical products, digital products, if it's a service you provide, do you have consistent sales? If I asked you, okay, well, how many sales um, roughly do you get a month? Or if I asked you, you know, if you are generating leads on a consistent basis, how many leads does it take for you to get a sale? Would you know the answer? If I said to you then, okay, well, if you want to double your income, what would you need to do? Would you be able to answer it? Okay. And if not, that's okay. That's partly what I'm going to be talking about today to help you out. But it's just some things to know because I think a big, a big issue is, you know, people ask in, you know, I'm in several different communities and people asking, how are people getting paying clients right now? How are people getting customers? And so if you aren't, you know, if you're kind of constantly work, 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 and you don't quite know where your next sale is coming from, like I say, I'm, I've been going through this myself, you know, with launching a new 
a new kind of strand of my business, there's a lot of unknown. So I'm having to do a lot and I'm having to go through this the very four step process myself to get there. So at the moment, things are a little sporadic, but that's OK, because I've got this process, I'm in the middle of it. I'm currently going through that process so it will be more consistent and then I can actually predict more about how I can do things, okay? So if you're not there yet, it's totally fine, okay? But it's just, this is gonna help you just to kind of assess and identify where you are. If you are getting some consistency, awesome, fantastic. Now, how might you be able to take it from here to here? If you wanna go, great, I'm getting some consistent sales, but it's, it's not quite enough, I'd like to double it. Cool, how do you do that? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So we can kind of help different places. So definitely stick around. And like I say, feel free to pop any questions in, ask away, and I'll gladly help, all right? So the very, very first thing, when I'm creating anything new, um, I think about what is the customer journey? So when you're looking at, okay, I'm maybe launching a new service, or maybe you're creating a new product line, maybe you're creating your first course or your second course, you know, maybe you're creating something new, um, something's a bit unknown. One of the first things that you need to be aware of is what does that customer journey look like? So if you have a think about, you know, there's going to be people, you know, you've got people currently in your kind of community. They're sort of your warm market. You've built an audience already of people. But you always want to be bringing in new people into your audience, building that following of brand new people as well to continue bringing people into your zone, you know, into your audience so they can start to get to know you. So have a think about OK, well, what does that journey look like from somebody who doesn't know me yet? And maybe they just see something for the first time. If it's maybe um, a Facebook post, if it's an ad, if you're doing paid advertising, if it's something on Pinterest or Instagram or whatever your chosen thing is. Um, but how you know, what does that journey look like from somebody who doesn't know you yet? And maybe they're just seeing some kind of content from you for the very first time. And then what does that look like? Or what might it look like? If you haven't got anything yet, that's totally fine. But what might that journey look like from, you know, sort of starting point through to, you know, starting to get to know you and then deciding maybe they want to either get up some, join your email list if you're doing that, then maybe buying and so forth. So what does that, what might that customer journey look like? And that's one of the things that I kind of encourage you to do first is think about what does that journey look like? And you don't have to have all the details and have all the answers, but at least have a bit of a, a broad understanding to go, OK, well, it's going to be predominantly here's here's my main places that I show up. So for me, it's Facebook and Instagram. And I do some stuff on Pinterest as well, which actually does really well for me with uh, bringing new people into my audience. So, you know, where are you hanging out? How do you then encourage people to, you know, join you in your communities? Do you have a group? Do you um, create a community on a public business page? Do you, um, you know, what, what does that look like? Do you want people to follow you and join you on your, you know, if you're doing consistent Facebook lives, whatever that looks like. And then, like I say, how are you then taking somebody from just someone who's sussing you out into then actually becoming a lead and then actually, you know, creating a sale and a customer or a client from that person. So that would be that's kind of step one is thinking about that process. OK, then step two is going to be then once you know that create a simple system that can take people through that process. And this is where you create a lot of leverage. And I've talked quite a lot over the last couple of months about, um, you know, some automation things that you can do. But it's having a think about how can you create a simple system that can take care of that heavy lifting? Because here's the thing. The reality is a lot of people are taught to do things, a lot of manual stuff. And I used to do that. And yes, you know, you can get it to work. But here's the thing. 
you've there's only so much time that you can put into it. There's only so many, you know, conversations, whether it's um, on Zoom or Messenger or text or whatever that you can have. So you're you're kind of limiting and capping yourself already. So like I say, those things can work and it's great to get started with that, to do some of those organic things and do some of those manual things where you are, you know, talking to people. However, you still need to have a think about, okay, well, how can I, how can I take people through that customer journey? And then the, the kind of the next level is creating an actual simple system that can do a lot of that work for you. OK, and so a lot of this you can then automate. So this is where utilizing um, having some kind of freebie, some kind of free lead magnet that you offer in exchange for somebody's email address and you build your email list. I talked about the email list um, a couple of weeks ago on my show. So if you can go and check that out on my website or in the videos of um, whichever platform you're watching this video from, um, you know, that's a really great thing. And that's what I do. And then you kind of have part of that system is collecting that person's information, adding them into your email list. And then you've got a way to be able to follow up with them continuously and without having to go out to the masses individually. You can kind of do it in one sort of swoop um, and make sure you're and then giving somebody recommendations, giving people um, relevant offers that, you know, is going to help them based on what they have kind of opted in for. So if you're, you know, if you're creating some kind of freebie, um, if you're in, uh, let's say you're um, you're in the beauty industry and maybe you kind of selling makeup as an affiliate, then, you know, you're probably going to create maybe some makeup tips or something. And people can join your email list where they're going to learn, you know, tips, techniques, products to use and the products to use that people love to know or what did you use to make that look you can then create offers and make recommendations based on your recommendation which you know then you that's how you can monetize it because you can then offer the products that you like and you know you are using affiliate links and stuff that you use the same can be done if you're offering services you know teach people educate people about what they might be um needing help with you know how do they know that they need your service so you need to kind of create content that's going to educate them help them and then the solution is what you do okay so it's creating that simple system to take care of the heavy lifting and again there's multiple ways that you can do it i personally utilize having some kind of freebie you know i've got several freebies i've got a whole resource library full of freebies and then i actually have some more specific targeted things that I mostly use. And right now, you know, for the last few months, I've been testing out a new freebie and going through my own new system that I'm creating from sort of a bit of unknown. So I'm using all of my past skills for something that's a bit different. Um, and it's quite cool. So I'm going through that process myself right now. I say, and when you can automate it, it takes off the load. So it means you can then focus on actually serving your customers, serving your clients, providing that service, helping them get started, um, whatever it is that kind of needs more of your time than a lot of that heavy lifting, if that makes sense. OK, so that's step two. And if you get any nuggets along the way, do uh, just kind of pop in hashtag nugget and share what any what any kind of takeaways and nuggets that you're getting from this video. I'd love to kind of hear from you and make sure that I'm providing you value and that, you know, you're um, say so you're finding this helpful. OK, so then step three. So once you kind of got your system in place, you know, OK, this is what it's going to look like. You can create a simple system to begin with. It doesn't have to be complex. Then what you need to do from there to help you then start getting consistency is looking at, you know, you've got to test things out. You don't know what's going to work until you actually do it. So if you're creating a freebie, put it out there, see what people think, um, you know, what is um, get some data, you know, how many people who maybe click on a link and maybe look at a page actually end up opting in for that. How many people sign up for your webinar or your event or your challenge? Whatever you're doing, it doesn't the the kind of what you do isn't the important piece here. the The important thing is about assessing it, 
kind of analyzing it and you've got to test things out. You might do a few different versions. You might come up with a few different titles of your freebie or um, you might need to tweak and play around with your messaging, with how you promote it. There's going to be all these things that you'll need to do to test so you can gather data. And the thing is, I know some people don't like data, but at the end of the day, you are running a business, okay? You are a business owner. And if you don't like data and metrics, then you need to have a bit of a look in the mirror and be like, am I really serious about this business? Because at the end of the day, if you don't know your numbers, it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to um, really grow your business. OK, so I'm sorry, you know, I know it's a little bit blunt, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the reality. You've got to be able to have some metrics in front of you so that you can assess, so you can evaluate, so you can test and tweak and make things better, make things work more effectively. And this is the whole point of this video today, because I want you to be able to go away and be able to go, do you know what? Yeah, this process, I've, you know, if you've got stuff that's working right now, Woohoo! High five. Freaking fantastic. Amazing. Like I say, the challenging question to you is if I was to say to you, OK. How would you double your income right now? Would you know how to do that? Like actually what that would entail? And if not, then that's fine. That's OK. And having data, how metrics helps you to do that. It helps you to see what's working. It helps you to see maybe what's not working. And then from that, you get to then go, okay, what might be something that I'm going to try and make this more effective? Or how might I take this to the next level? So you've got to be able to test. And the thing with kind of testing and getting metrics when it's kind of black and white numbers, it helps to not be quite so emotional about things, being like, oh, I put all this effort into it. You can actually kind of just look at numbers and go, OK, what's gone on here? Has my efforts over the last couple of weeks of doing the same sort of thing worked? Have I got a decent amount of people opting into my freebie who are seeing the kind of content that promotes it? Yes, fab, that's working. You can just continue doing that. If not, OK, what might be the breakdown? Do you need to tweak your messaging? Do you need to tweak your page? Do you need to tweak your promotions? Things like that. So without knowing the numbers, it you kind of are in the dark and you're not quite sure where to go and what to work on. So that's why this step is crucial. OK. And then finally, step four. And I wonder, what do you think step four might be? So if you've gone through those different steps, so step four, rinse, repeat, and scale, okay? So that's the thing, you know, you're going to probably go through different, um, different iterations of trying different things until you've got numbers that, you know, are um, seem to be as effective, you know? And I teach all this kind of stuff about what are some of those benchmarks in my course. Um, but, you know, so once you've got some data and if you've optimized it to go, yeah, this seems to be working, well, just keep repeating it. And like I say, and then what you can do is take those numbers and then this is how you can then start to predict the future. You can go, OK, so if I know. So as an example, if you get a. Um, let's say you get a 30% opt-in rate. So if, if you've got some kind of freebie that you're going to offer in exchange for somebody's email, um, and you've got a page and a funnel, simple funnel that, that collects the data and um, sends them the stuff, sends them your freebie and adds them to your email list. So let's say everybody who looks at that page, if 30% of those people actually opt in, okay, cool. And then maybe you get so that's kind of how the percentage of people that actually become a lead. And then it might be, let's say, for example, 10 percent of those, lead, those leads might buy pretty quickly from your system that you set up. OK, cool. So now, you know, OK, so 10 percent of people become a customer. 
So then when you've got those numbers, you can then go, okay, so let's say right now I'm making 2000 pounds a month and you want to get to 5,000. Okay. What does that take? And so this is when you can then predict the future. You can say, you can then know how to get yourself from two to 5k every month or from 5k to 10k and get to six figures. You can actually see in black and white what you need to do. And that comes ease. That's where it's like, oh, okay. And you might have, you know, you might well have to invest some time, some money, probably to do that. But once you've got that consistency there, then you can rinse, repeat and scale and grow to where you want to go. And this is the really, really exciting bit. This is the piece that I love. So I'm currently going through, I'm probably in phase three right now, okay? So I've been testing out some different stuff since probably October. Um, and, you know, I'm going through, I've been, you know, I was doing some different things just so I can gather some data. So, you know, I'm sort of doing things so I can see what a kind of an average is, what my average metrics are. Um, so I'm kind of going through, I'm sort of in between sort of my uh, my four step process i'm sort of between step two and three right now and once i've kind of completed this process for this particular brand new um part of my business then i'll definitely kind of share more about the nitty-gritty with that with you but i've done this before you know and i used to run a lot of facebook ads with a proven um offer and system and i knew okay if i'm going to be spending 20 pounds a month it would pump out, um, you know, at so much revenue. And I knew how much it would cost me approximately. And it was great because if you know that then your next sale is coming because you've got metrics to go by. So this is the really cool thing. Okay. So it's, you know, and it, it say this isn't going to be just an overnight thing. It might take you some time. And that's fine. This is part of the part of the package, you know, part of the deal of running a business is you've got to try things. You know, there's no such thing as failure. If something doesn't work, maybe initially how you thought initially, that's OK. This is where you need to go. OK, so what worked about it? What didn't? OK, what might I try for the next round? What might I do next to see how can I get this number from here to here? Um, and this is the stuff that I love, I can geek out on all day. And this is the stuff that I love to dive into and teach as well. So if you kind of, um, if you've got any questions about any of that, feel free to pop them in the comments. Um, I wanted just kind of to give you something that will help you to get started with this. So if you've already got some offers and things that you're promoting, which if you're here, you're like, you know, you're in a business. So whether you're kind of doing some affiliate marketing or if you're creating your own stuff, um, but if you're, you know, if you, you'll all have something that you're offering right now. So if you're not quite where you are with your consistency yet, or if you're not quite sure how to even go about creating that system, that's totally cool. I've got a great, really low cost mini course for you that I created. And it helps you to see um, what kind of system will help you. So what's going to be relevant for you and your business, because we're all different. You know, some people, you might really want to have calls with people to kind of see, you might need to discuss, you know, um, what you do with them. And maybe you kind of have a bit of a sales call and it helps you and them to see, are you a fit? That might be an option for you. Some people might be more for a, a freebie download, you know, kind of a simple lead generating lead magnet funnel. Some people, you might want to do a webinar. So basically what this mini course goes through is it helps you to kind of figure out, I go through all the different types of um, systems and funnels that you can use. And then I give you an awesome calculator and I help you to basically map out your system. And then I create this fantastic, it's basically the predictability calculator. It helps you to plug in the numbers that you want. So if you want to get to 10K a month or 5K or 20 or whatever your thing is, you can plug in those numbers and it's going to tell you based on some 
you know, initially it's based on some kind of industry standards in terms of metrics, but then you can tweak them based on your numbers that you start to get. So then you can plug into this spreadsheet calculator that I created so you can see, oh, okay, so if I want to get to six figures, I need to get, you know, so many leads every month. Okay, and then when you know how many leads you need to get, okay, well, how the frick are you going to get those? And so it helps you to make decisions quickly. It helps you to know exactly what you need to do. Or, and also it might help you to set some expectations. If you've only been in business for a year um, and you're like, why am I at six figures yet? If you're only making a thousand pounds a month, well, it may not be, that might be like a phase two goals. So maybe you need to set an interim goal to help you get a bit more consistency and increase your income a bit more. So I freaking love the calculator. And from the people that went through my course in the first round, they said the calculator was the best bit. Um, so if you're interested in, in that, it's called funnel mapping lightly. I, I loved the, the letters FML because <laughs> so many people are like, ah, oh, funnel scare me. And it doesn't, it doesn't need to. OK, so a link should have gone into the comments for you. Um, if you're interested, as you can see it's £47. It's nothing. I should really raise the price, but I wanted to make it super affordable because this is just really about helping you to get started. Um, you can get instant access. It's all done. It's an amazing course. Um, like I say, it's not very big, so you should be able to get through it. In I ran it live over a couple of days um, when I did it live for the very first time, and then obviously I edited those video videos, and it's all now in my uh, members area for you. So you can go and grab it for forty-seven pounds. It's nothing. So you can go and grab that. Let's say there should be a link in the. Um, in the comments, or if you're watching this on another um, platform, let me bring up the link to show you. So it's jennystevenscoaching.com slash FML. Okay, FML, fuck my life. <laughs> I love my swearing. So I, whenever I create stuff, I always try and look how I can make the acronyms um, fun. So I kind of created the, the name of it uh, based on that. But you know, it's a very, you know, this is an awesome uh, starting point. So say if you kind of want to get started with getting a bit more consistency and be able to predict what your income can be and what you need to do to get there, grab this now. OK, it's going to help you out so, so much. And obviously you've got me here as support as well as you go through it for whatever you need. But this would be my recommendation if you're just getting started and you want to just kind of see, OK, what is this all about? definitely go and grab that. Okay. And I'll put this in the show notes as well. So you'll have in every week, I put together show notes of my brilliant EU business show. And um, I have a resources section where I add all of this stuff. I'll also add in my free training that I've got. So if you're not, I'm not quite sure about getting that, that's fine. Um, I can give you a free training as well that talks a bit more about the system that I create. Obviously, it doesn't go into as much detail and give you um, the calculator and all that kind of stuff. But, it, you know, there's, there's a, it's a starting point as well if you're maybe a little bit earlier on in your own journey. So that's totally fine. I'll add a link in for that as well into the show notes. If you want the show notes, just comment show notes in the comments. Um, if you're watching this in Facebook and you should receive a message from me and then I can get those sent out to you as soon as they're ready. But that course, I'll say I'm very proud of it. It was something that um, I put together um, because so many people were like, I don't even know how to get started with building a funnel. And rather than kind of diving straight into my kind of big course, which is all the, the nitty gritty, the technical stuff, this was kind of like that place before that, actually planning it out, knowing what to create first, having your, you know, it's a bit like if you do a training, you know, you need to kind of put in a bit of prep work. And so this is kind of that piece. So it's awesome. And that predictability calculator, it's freaking amazing. I'm very proud of it. I created it. Um, and so I use that all the time for myself. When I start to create consistency in my own products that I'm offering, I use that calculator to go, OK, cool. Now I've got a bit of an average of my conversions. You know, how many people does it take to opt into this? How many people then buy? And once I've got those numbers, I can then play around with that calculator and go, OK, cool. So if I want to, you know, double, triple this this particular income stream, what do I need to do? And I then use a lot of the time I use paid advertising because it helps keep that machine going. It helps keep that consistency coming through. Um, 
without needing a lot of me in it. So again, it means I can focus my time on creating my content, on helping my clients, um, on helping set up, you know, my new my new customers and stuff like that, rather than spending so much time. Um, I've been doing a lot more organic stuff this last year. And whilst it's been really great, actually, and I've learned a lot more over the last year, but it is definitely more time consuming. And so having, but everything I do goes into my system. So whether you're doing free or paid methods, that piece doesn't really matter. But it's having that system that then takes care of everything else. And that's where the magic really starts to happen. And please feel free to share this, tag anyone with anyone that you else might find this useful. Um, I always appreciate any kind of likes, love, shares, hearts and all that kind of stuff in my trainings and appreciate you all for hanging out with me today. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Definitely go and grab that Funnel Mapping Lightly course. Um, I know you'll love it. So go and grab that, like I say, and I'm here if, if for extra support if you need me. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Um, the show notes will be up in a couple of days. If you want those, again, let me know. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you next week for another brilliantly you business show. If you, you know, if you are kind of keen to learn about something particular, feel free to um, share anything that you'd like me to cover. Happy to take suggestions and see how I can plan it into my content calendar. So feel free to share that with you with um, with you for now. So there's that link again. Um, if you want to get started creating your own consistent and predictable little system for yourself. It's going to bring in consistent sales into your business. And so it's going to help you to be able to kind of go from wherever you want. So this is a great starting point. So go and grab that and I'll see you on the other side. All right. So have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye.